A UFO whistleblower in the US is claiming UFO sightings are a national security threat. David Grouch told the House Oversight Committee he has proof of non-human life forms in UFO wreckage. Well, despite the Pentagon saying it's not true, the former US Air Force intelligence officer has been backed by US Navy personnel like retired Commander David Fravor. The controller told us that these objects uh, had been observed for over two weeks, coming down from over 80,000 feet, rapidly descending to 20,000 feet, hanging out for hours, and then going straight back up. For those who don't realize, above 80,000 feet is space. Well, let's get some reaction to this. Joining me now is former Ministry of Defence UFO researcher Nick Pope. A very good morning to you, Nick. And we might talk about some of those specifics in a moment. But first of all, tell us why these hearings are going on in the US now. Well, there's been a, a fundamental change in the way this subject has been viewed. It's come out of the fringe and into the mainstream, and there's been official recognition that this is a defence and national security issue. And that comes not, not just from these whistleblowers, but actually from, from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence and from the Pentagon, uh, who, who have issued a number of reports on this. Well, yes, and quite an interesting group of people giving evidence. So what are the kind of claims that are being heard? Well, we had uh, yesterday two US Navy pilots talk about uh, UFOs, frankly, running rings around their aircraft. And of course, they, they fly the cutting edge of, of aerospace technology. And uh, they said the things that they came up against uh, were potentially so advanced that they posed an existential threat to the United States. And, and so that's one part of it. But the other part, as you say, the whistleblower, David Grush, He's interesting because he actually served in the intelligence community on the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force. So if anyone was perfectly placed to say what covert programs the US government had, he's the guy. And, and this is what he, he did. And he's testified now. And Congress is trying to validate all this information. So what's the Pentagon saying about all of this? Well, they're being very tight-lipped. Uh, they're saying that they have not been able to validate the information. But the problem seems to be that even the unit in the Pentagon that is charged with uh, the policy and investigative lead on this may not have all the security clearances they need to access some of the most highly classified, deeply compartmentalized programs that may exist on this subject. And, and that's that's why Congress is continuing to dig in this, and there will be further hearings. Well, yes, and how much at the end of it do you think that we'll know and understand about these UFOs, or as they call them, they're the UAPs, aren't they? Unexplained anomalous phenomena. Yes, they, they changed the language. We actually had a role in that in the MOD back in the 90s. But uh, I, I think people will get to find out some of this, but not all of it. Um, the most common thing that we heard yesterday in the entire hearing was, well, I can tell you that if, if we go to the um, uh, secure room. So, so not for the public hearing, I'm afraid. So the, part of this, for whatever reason, is, is top secret. Well, yes, and people are always going to be fascinated by the, the, this stuff. And you too, presumably, because of all your work that you did do in the 90s for the Ministry of Defence looking into UFOs. Tell us a little bit about that work and, and what's done these days in this country. Well, the MOD terminated their UFO programme at the end of 2009. I mean, when I was doing it, the job was simply to evaluate the uh, defence and national security implications and, and say if there was a threat. But, you know, people say that the, U the UK should re-engage on this, and the Pentagon confirmed that they had convened a, a panel on this with the Five Eyes. Now, the Five Eyes is the intelligence sharing alliance that includes the UK. The Ministry of Defence, when they asked about this, said we don't comment on intelligence matters. Well, that might keep the media off their backs, but what we now need is members of parliament and members of the House of Lords to put the MOD under some pressure and say what's going on, because the Brits are involved in all, all this, uh, and, and the Defence Select Committee, I think, needs to take a proper look at this. If the US, as the dominant power in NATO, is, is saying this is serious and it's a national security threat, we should be saying the same. OK, well, Nick Pope, really interesting to get your take on that. Thanks very much indeed.